Well, this is a long discussion in the European Union, uh, but uh, times have changed. Um, and I think that in the new century, um, after what happened also in the last weeks uh, with this uh, terrible conclusion of the right mission that we had, uh, the NATO mission in Afghanistan, I think it was a right mission but with a very bad conclusion. But this concluder shows that um, the commitment of um, our U.S. friends and allies in some areas, uh, I mean the Mediterranean, Sahel, the Balkans, um, will not be as strong as it was 10 or 20 years ago. Uh, and so we need to defend our interest we are an economic superpower, but we cannot be completely absent in the um, geopolitical uh, role. This was possible maybe in the previous century. It is no more possible now. So the growth of a common European defence force must mean a threat to NATO in some way, shape or form, doesn't it? No, I think we can uh, coexist very well. Uh, of course, nobody is discussing the, the role of NATO. Uh, NATO was born and shaped mainly uh, to uh, deter uh, Russia's presence in Europe. This role remains absolutely crucial, and I am personally also a strong supporter of NATO. What I'm saying is that if the European Union role is growing, uh, if we will have a good economic recovery, um, if we are trying to be on the lead on the climate transition and many other uh, aspects of our ambition, we cannot be completely irrelevant and silent on these geopolitical dynamics. Fair enough.